What is up YouTube, DIY Tech here back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how you upgrade your hard drive without the need to reinstall Windows or losing any software that you might have installed on your PC. So cue the intro and let's get into it. Now I know this might be a scary prospect but trust me it's a very simple and straightforward process. All you need to do is download one software and you're good to go. So first just download Reflect, save it and install it as you would any other software. You will need to enter your email so that you can get the registration code but don't worry about it it's just a straightforward process you're not gonna get bombarded with emails or nothing like that so just enter the registration code and continue with the installation process After installation is done, Reflect will scan your computer and show you all the drives that you have. Now as you can see my hard drive is partitioned and that is an advantage because uh, my system drive only has 219 gigs which will ensure that the 500 gigs SSD will be more than enough to clone to. Now take your new SSD, put it in an enclosure and plug it into your computer. Click refresh and your new SSD should show up. Now you can go ahead and uncheck all the partitions you don't need to clone. Hit clone this disk. Select a disk to clone to. And just uh, follow the process from there. Click finish, OK, all target volume data will be overwritten, OK, check that box there and continue. 
Now the cloning process might take a long time depending on the amount of data you are cloning. But don't worry, just leave it running, go do whatever. Now for some folders you might get a pop-up message saying you do not have permission to access this folder. Don't worry about it, just click continue. And if it says you have been denied permission or something like that, just close that uh, pop-up message and continue. Once it's done, you can go ahead and close it. So as you can see now the C drive has been cloned to the J drive, uh, they are pretty much identical. So that part is done. So now you can go ahead and install your SSD into the computer. For a more detailed instruction on how to do this process, I will put a link in the description. So go ahead and check out that video before attempting this process. Now if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like and share and more content is coming your way pretty soon. Okay, so when you switch on your computer, it should boot up straight into Windows like you never changed the hard drive or anything like that. And all your installed softwares should be there. Okay, so now you have two versions of your system drive. If you need more space, you can go ahead and wipe the other C drive. But in my case here, I will just leave it as a backup just in case anything happens to my computer. 
So now it's time to find out the improvements we have made by installing an SSD instead of an HDD drive. As we can see now the computer boots up over two times faster and general use is also significantly improved and that is a success in my books. Thank you very much for watching DIY Tech and I will see you on the next one. Peace.